Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sent sign in Microsoft Works. Now, the sent sign is kind of a special character that doesn't appear um, in Microsoft Works as a special key combination or uh, as a special character. You kind of have to hack it a little bit to get it to work. But it's, it's very doable, and there's some several ways of doing this. So first of all, get Works open, and you can do you can do this, I'll show you the first way, is go to your special character table here, and then four rows below the number two is usually the sent sign. And this font here, it's the symbol font, there is no sent sign. So I go to the next one, Tahoma, there it is right there. There's a sent sign, you click on it, hit insert, and there you go. You've got uh, the sent sign in there. Now a second way of doing this is you can hold down your Alt key and then from the numeric keypad, and it has to be from the numeric keypad, you type 0162 in release and then you'll see the sent sign pop up. Now, uh, if you have a, one of those uh, laptops that doesn't have a separate numeric keypad, that can be kind of a hassle. So I'm going to show you a third way, which is probably the niftiest way of doing it, is you go, well first highlight the character that you want, copy it, control C or with your edit, copy. And then you want to go to Tools, Autocorrect, and then in your Autocorrect here, you can, yeah, it's already copied it in there, your sent sign. You copy in your sent sign. And then you can put whatever special key sequence that you want to represent the sent sign. For instance, I'll do star, C, star. And so that whenever, whenever I type Let's go star, C, star. It replaces it with a sent sign. So, you know, that's three ways of doing it. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today we talked about how to make a sent sign in Microsoft Works. Thanks for watching.